Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick video here, tutorial on how to use the HomeSnap app, uh, which is similar to Zillow and Trulia and some of the other applications out there. What I like about this one is that it was actually created by the MLS. The MLS, or Multiple Listing Service, is where pretty much all real estate agents will list homes for the nation. So it is where Zillow and Trulia pull all of their data from. Almost all homes on the market go through this system and it just makes it easier. Um, it keeps all of them in one place so agents can, can find homes very easily. Um, the problem with some of those third-party applications like Zillow and Trulia is that they do not get the data from the MLS instantaneously. There is a lag time. There's also has been a lot of other inaccuracies reported with those applications, um, such as price inaccuracies and timing just doesn't quite match up. Um, HomeSnap was created by the MLS to give users that instantaneous and most up-to-date accurate information out there. Uh, so as soon as a house goes on the market, that very second it is also listed in this application or on the website, homesnap.com. As soon as there are any price changes or the home goes under contract or it gets sold, that is all updated instantaneously. There is no other application on the market that has this up-to-date data as much as HomeSnap. So that alone is reason enough to um, have this in your inventory as far as how you are searching for homes. But there are also some other cool features that I'm going to quickly go over here too. So I'm going to open up the application brings up a, a map here where it will show you how many homes are in each area. When you zoom in far enough, it will pinpoint those homes. On the very right side of the screen, there are a number of circles. The circle on the bottom with the three lines, I'm going to tap that. That brings up a list as well that you can scroll through. And if you just tap on the upper part of the screen, that just brings back the map. So. I'm going to go to the filter, the search filter, up here at the very top uh, filter. This is pretty straightforward. The only thing I wanted to bring up is under type. You'll see all property types. If I bring up that menu, detached means single family. So if you're not looking for a townhouse or a condo or multifamily, etc., just uncheck all of those and leave detached check. That's just going to bring up your single family homes. The other thing I wanted to touch base about is under status, you can click on open house, go to date, and let's do open houses available for this weekend. I'm going to tap on apply filters, zoom out, it will show you all of the open houses that are scheduled in Tacoma for this weekend. So tapping on this will bring up this home. It indicates that there is an open house this weekend. Um, between 11 and 2. The very top part here will do a slideshow of the pictures. It will show you an estimated mortgage. If you tap on the, the number where it says 2100, that will bring up the mortgage calculator where you can estimate what your terms will be, your down payment, your interest rate, which FYI, this is January of 2019. Interest rates are around 5%, not 4%. Um, so going back, if you tap anywhere on the slideshow of pictures, it will bring up and allow you to scroll through. Uh, tapping the back button on your phone goes back here. Um, and then if you start scrolling down, you'll see beds, bath, acres, square feet. The price history feature is awesome. This will show you um, for the last number of years what's been going on with the house. This one was purchased in 2010 for $55,000 and it is on the market today for $549,000. It's also good in, especially in this time of year when uh, we see homes that were put on the market in the summer for higher prices, they're not selling at those prices. So there have been a number of price drops and it will show you all of that history. Below is a listing summary. Um, agents will describe what the house is like and uh, put in some of the features. Um, the one I like here is the, the walk score. That's not going to be in every listing. It depends on if that listing agent decided to put it in the description. If you don't see a walk score here, you can just go to walkscore.com, punch in the address, and figure it out. Um, it will show you listing details. You can click on more and see some of the uh, more detailed features of the home. 
And let's see, below that are the schools. Uh, I wanted to bring up that this particular application gets its school data from www.greatschools.com. The MLS is not known for having the most up-to-date and accurate school information, so they did decide to use a third party for that information here. Um, commute time I will go over in a moment. The map here, if you tap on open map, it will show you the boundary lines of that property. If you have the two circles at the top, uh, if you tap the, the top one that looks like a map, it will take the satellite view off. And if you tap on the one below, um, that will bring up your Google Maps and give you directions to that property. I'm going to go back here and show you one more thing when you're looking at an individual listing. Um, Below property lines, you'll see your agent. So you do have the option to be directly connected with a real estate agent. They can either invite you or you can make a request. Those are the only two ways to become connected with an actual real estate agent. What is great about this is if you'll see in the top right of the screen that star, when I star this, that's going to let my agent know that I favorited that home. That allows the agent to start pulling up houses that look like that or that are similar immediately without you having to email back and forth all the time. You can also ask questions and send that directly to your agent as well. Below that, it'll show you similar listings that are similar in price or maybe number of bedrooms and baths as well. Um, in, in the area that are available. And then it will also show you what has recently sold that are similar to the home you're looking at too. So let's go back to the map and I'm gonna quickly go through um, some of the features that make this app stand out from the rest. Um, so I'm gonna be going over the circles on the right part of the screen. The top one here is a car with a little clock over it. That is, well actually first I'm gonna reset, get the open houses out of here, reset filters, hit apply, and now this is all of the homes. The purple ones are still the open houses, the green ones are all of the available properties. So clicking on that top circle of the car, that will bring up your commute. So you can put in any address here. I, I have my work address and I don't want to live anywhere that's going to take more than 10 minutes to drive to my work. So if you click on search, that actually draws a boundary map and will show you only homes that are within a 10 minute drive to that work. Um, if you hit remove commute there at the top, it goes back and just has the regular map. Um, below that, this is an awesome feature. It will, it's a hand with a little line. If you tap on that, that actually allows you to tap and hold on your phone and draw your own boundary line and let's say you're just looking at homes in the north slope of Tacoma, it's only going to show you those homes. If you tap on save search here, you can type north slope, click save, and then if you go up to tap on that top search bar, it has all of your save searches up there, so you can go back to that search. Remove outline, it goes back to the normal map. Okay, so the icon below that is the bullet point circle that's self-explanatory that takes you to your current location. Um, this brings up a good point too. Uh, when you zoom in far enough, you'll see these blue price tags. That gives you the estimated value of what all of the homes in the area are, as well as the red ones are recently sold. The orange ones, I believe, are under contract. If you zoom out, the price tags go away and it just shows you what houses are available currently. Um, below that is uh, three different layers, um, and this is a neat feature. The one on the left, the graduation cap, will pull up school information. Um, so you can tap on that school, view its details. Again, this data is coming from www.greatschools.com. What I like is you can see homes in school zone. So it will actually draw a boundary map around that school zone and show you only homes that are available that will send your kids to that particular school. You can save those searches. I'm going to go ahead and remove this outline and move on. Um, the middle one uh, here will show you boundaries around the properties. Um, it's currently not always working though. Um, so. If it was working correctly, you'd see a bunch of blue lines indicating for each property what its boundary lines are. Um, that one is kind of glitching right now, so I'm going to move on. 
And this last one, the satellite, is naturally just a satellite view. So I'm going to turn that off. Um, and again, the, the last icon here brings up a list of the homes that you can scroll through. If you tap on the map, that brings the map back up. So that is pretty much it. Uh, the only other feature I wanted to go over that is completely unique to HomeSnap, um, to my knowledge you won't find this in any other apps out there currently, is the camera icon. Um, so at the top right of the screen you see the camera. That is the snap feature of HomeSnap. That allows you to take a picture of a home and immediately pull up its listing details. Um, what the price is and all of the information that, that we've looked over, it will pull up for you from a picture. I did want to let you know the picture is based on GPS location, not the actual image of the home. So it doesn't matter if you have the full uh, picture of the house um, at the right angle or anything like that. You can actually even go uh, right up to the house and take a picture of the wall and it will show you the listing data because it pulls directly from your GPS location. Um, so that's a neat feature as well. You can, you know, if you're out on a walk and you see a house that you're interested in, snap a photo, it'll pull up the listing details, hit the star button or send it directly to your agent, say, hey, I'd like to uh, schedule a tour to see this house. Um, so it's very straightforward and convenient. And again, it does pull its data instantaneously from the MLS. It was created by the MLS. There are no other apps out there that have more accurate and up-to-date data. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment or reach out to me directly. This is Ben Davidson with Childers Davidson Homes in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, have a wonderful day. Namaste.